Hi everyone. Um, today's pattern is called Eula um, by Ekaterina Reznaya. I probably butchered that name. I apologize, Ekaterina. Um, this is a little complicated, and so I actually did practice this one. Um, I played with this one during church this this past Sunday. Really like it. I really, really like it. Um, it looks different depending on how many uh, legs you put on it, and um, I really, I really enjoyed it. But it's a little bit complicated, so I am going to list this. Uh, besides, under daily patterns, I'm going to list this as a more challenging pattern. It's not that it's advanced necessarily, because the it's just lines, but just kind of wrapping your head around how to construct it can be uh, difficult the first time, but once I got the hang of it, I just it just flew right out of me, so it's good. So you start out with a little dot in the middle. You can put a little high, leave a little highlight there if you would like. Um, and then you put arms, radiating out with a little hook at the end. The little hook's important. Okay, and then between those arms, and it doesn't matter if you put three arms or six arms or however many arms, it doesn't make any difference. I did with a variety of different num numbers. Um, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, it all works. Between the longer arms, you put another arm that's about halfway. I did some where they were like really short and that didn't work. So you want to have at least um, about halfway up from your longer arms. And still going the same way with the little hook. All the little hooks have to go the same direction. It doesn't matter if you make the little hook right or to the left. Um, but they all have to go the same way. That's important. And then comes this part. Um, I wasn't sure how to draw this. At first I started doing it this way, but I found myself, I was having issues. So I found it easiest for me to draw it starting at this tip and going this way and then filling toward the middle. That was easier for me to draw. And then step, the next step, this is where it gets a little more complex you start on the, the shorter one and you work your way this way. And then there's one more step is this part. And it's kind of unclear with the step out. So I played several times with it and it's really going to be something that you need to kind of watch the video and, and kind of figure it out. But you can see here, um, where the longer arms are different lengths, they not the same. This one's with three. This one is also with three, but the longer arms are closer to being the same length. This one's with five long arms. And then here's the sort of free form. This one is also with three. Uh, intermixed with other tangles in the, in the sample. So I'm just going to kind of do one big one in the middle. I may I may actually draw this a couple of times um, just so you can see it because it, it did take me, I'm not going to lie, it did take me a bit to figure it out. But once I figured it out, I really, really enjoyed it. So start out with your centerpiece. And I'm going to go ahead and leave a little white spot as a as a highlight. Okay, and I'm gonna stay kind of zoomed out so you can see the whole tile. I want you, to, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing too. So maybe here, okay. So first thing you wanna do is your longer arms. Um, maybe on this one, I'm gonna do three. So we're gonna do one here and I'm gonna do one about there and one about here okay three arms they're not equidistant or anything i didn't pay any attention to an exact triangle or any such thing 
okay? And then you want, in between each long arm, you want a shorter arm, about halfway with a little hook. Okay, the hooks all have to go the same direction. This part is the easy part, okay? Three hooks, three arms. I mean, three long arms, three short arms, all the hooks going the same direction. That part you guys can do super simple. Now comes the more thought provoking part. Find one of your long arms, start here and go to here. Like that. Okay. Now just keep filling that in. from this top, always starting up here at the top and make it a little bit wider as you go down and fill those in to like that. Okay, turn your page. It's easiest if you turn your page. Start up here at the hook, go down to that hook. See how that hook makes it looks like it's being kind of swallowed, right? And just bring those down. Until you kind of come to the middle. All right? Not complicated. So far this part is easy. You can, you can do this part. Long arm comes down to your shorter arm. And just bring those down. carried away there but that's okay I can I can just fix it okay so far so good you can you guys can do this you can if I can do it you can do it just take some thought now you do the exact same thing but you go from the short arms to the long arms so you want to start here where that little short arm hooked around and you want to go over to here. It's okay if this doesn't wrap around, it, it, it'll get incorporated, okay? And then you do the same thing. Go from that short to the long, always in, starting in that same spot up there at the top, kind of pulling it around. And just keep going until you hit the middle, like that. Okay? Turn it, do the same thing. Start there on the, your little hook, go all the way over to there. If you missed it and you think you need a little bit longer, go add another one. You know? And turn. And just go down and keep meeting that line. Try really hard not to go over that line. Just stop right on the line. Okay, like that. You can do this. Turn it again. Start here. Go over there toward that hook. And down to that line. Starting in the same place up there. Like that. Okay. So far so good. You guys still with me? Follow along. I hope you're following along because it took me a minute to figure it out. But now that I've got it, I have it figured out. Now, the, I'm going to show you the step out. 
Can you guys see what we've done so far? So far we've done this part in here, right? The black part. So what we're aiming for now is to come up here to the longest points. See how this next bit attaches to the longest point? That was where I was getting confused before. It has to attach to that longest point. And then it's kind of coming down to here about halfway or so. Doesn't make any difference. But you're attaching to the longer point. So start at the longest point and you're going the other way. You know, before we started here at the long point and went this way, now you're going to start here at this long point and you're going to come this way, which is why it doesn't matter if that curve is attached really well or not because you're going to work on it anyway. And you're going to come all the way down to here. I shouldn't have done those ones right there, actually. I needed to come further down. Bring it down. Okay, I didn't do as good on that one as I maybe should have. So we're going to try again. Okay. Turn it. This one. It's coming over here. Like that. That's where I should have... This little bit, I didn't do so well. Ignore that. Come down to here. like that. Okay. Start here. Come all the way down. You can do it a couple of times from up there. And then start kind of scooching down a little bit. See how I'm scooching down? But I'm not making a big bump. If I made a big bump, it would look different. There we go. That is the pattern. Right like that. And then you can do a little bit of shading. Or I liked it where I filled this little spot in right there in black because I felt like that was where they were all coming together anyways. So I really liked that in black. And then do a bit of shading. Shade on those arms here where everything is overlapping. And then on the outside here, where everything's overlapping. That one, this one, and this one. Depending on how many arms you have, how many places you have overlapping. But and a little bit of shading, I mean a little bit of blending. I'm going to do this one twice because I think it's one that's going to need it. Okay. Isn't that cool though? And it really didn't take that long to draw. Look at it. It's a, we're at 13 minutes right now. So a simple three arm one didn't really take that long to draw. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to draw on the other side one with maybe a little few more arms. Ooh. Come on, focus. All right, somewhere near the middle. Give me a nice little pearl like thing to start with. Okay. Arms come up and a little hook, up and a little hook, a little hook, a little hook. Okay, see there, I did what? What did I do? One, two, three, four, five. I did six of them. Some of them are longer than others. That's I think, I think that makes this more dynamic and really cool looking. Um, 
and then in between you do one that's about halfway up with a little hook okay simple got this from the big arm because I have this arm pretty long I can do um, not necessarily just a swoop. I can make it a little bit of an S curve to kind of get it fit in there. And I think that looked cool. So right like that. Just to kind of fit in there. Something like that. When it has more arms, it has less uh, distance to fill, they're skinnier. The arms are skinnier than over here. So you have fewer um, lines that you need to put in there. Long arm to short arm. So you've given it a little bit of a swoop. This time, I like that little swoop. Okay, long arm to short arm. This time, I didn't put a swoop. It's okay if on one arm it's got one kind of swoop and, and another arm it's got a different. This one I'm making a really curvy. It's okay. They can look different. This one, I'll put in the swoop again. This one's even got more of a pronounced swoop. Okay, next, this arm to that arm. This one appears to be having a turn. This arm, this arm. Okay, so we did, what did I do? I did the long arm to the short arm and just filling it in. Next step, what's the next step? Short arms to long arms. Turn it around however feels most comfortable to you. You're gonna go from this short arm. Remember, you're going all the way to the long arm though. You wanna make sure you're coming out this way. Don't, don't go down here and stop. That would not look the same. You actually wanna go all the way out here. Short arm to long arm. But you can still make a swoop. If you want like that kind of a swoop, make a swoop. Because this long long arm was longer on this one than the last one, they have more room to make more lines. Just come all the way in to the middle. That's the important part. Finish it off. Go all the way into the middle. Okay. Short arm to long arm. This one's got a little hitch in its get along. That's okay. It can have a hitch in its get along. Next 
happened to wiggle my hand at just the wrong moment. So I'm just following that wiggle. It's created something different. Short arm to long arm. Got it? Short arm to long arm. Okay. This one's got a, what, quite a ways to go because that's pretty short and that's pretty long. Doesn't matter. Hey, all those other ones had a swoop. This one doesn't have a swoop. No hitch in this one's get along. Short to long. Come around, fill it in. If you think you left too much of space there, you think that looks too wide, add one in. Just like in Rick's Paradox, when you think you've got it carried away. Okay. And then up to here. Okay, so far so good. And you, you know what? It would look really cool if you just left it like this. It would. There's no shame in getting to this point and saying, I don't think I want to do that next step. But give it a try. You want to go from the long arm. And if you're having a hard time figuring out which one's the long arm, like especially over in here, pick your longest arm and start there. Now you want to go the other way. You want to go down to this swoop here. And if you think that's too much of a, a loopy there, you know, fill it in if you want. Do a couple of them from there. And then start coming down. Down the edge just a little bit. Like that. Okay, this is your long arm. It's a short long arm, but it is your long arm. There's your short arm, down. This is your long arm, all the way down to there. So depending on how you do this last bit is how, how this trails off. I'm going to do one here. I want to do it nice and tight so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, down to there. Let's do another one that starts up there. Come down a little bit. Come down a little bit. And if you go shorter, then it ends sooner. If you go further out, it ends further out. See how that works? One more. This one's going to come at least down to there. And since I have a lot of kind of lump up there, I'm going to do more than one from way up there.
do it like that. Look at that. Isn't that really super cool? And then, I'm gonna really blow your mind here. I looked at it and I thought, could I put sparkle in there? I could put sparkle in there. So I did on the long arms, this one. I did this and I did a little bit of sparkle. I did every other line and yep, it gets really dark up in there. It does. Oh, I didn't do as good on this one as, as I did on the, well, that's all right. You'll get the idea. Need to do it closer to the bottom. I kind of got carried away here. All right, let me do it on this one. This one's a better one. So it's got more, more room to work. Totally changes the look of this thing though. Like that, look at that. Doesn't that change the look of it? But that, I, I liked it so much. I want this. I want this sparkle to kind of go here. If you need to put in a little guideline to remember where you're going to head with your sparkle, go right ahead and do that. Put it right in there. Like that. See? That'll help me remember where I want my sparkle. And then I'll just come back in and fill. Every other one leaving a little bit of space for that little sparkle. It becomes a challenge because I don't want this all a big muddy mess, just solid black. So I'm kind of just letting it trail off there, the top, so that it's not completely just a big black blob. Okay, I want my sparkle right here. Where I have lots of room to work. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna just skip every other one and just kind of indicate where I want it to be. Like something like that. It's all filled in like that. One more, two more, two more arms. I think I want it right in here. So I want to go approximately here with my sparkle. Okay. Sorry, had to make a little pause. My son came home from work 
I wasn't quite expecting him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a line here because it there's one sticking out there that I didn't like. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on making this sparkle. Actually, that line right there. This would be where you really want your little pen. This I'm drawing with is an actual, actually an O2. An O1 would probably serve me better in these tight little spaces, but I'm not gonna change over. I'm just gonna leave what I've got. And finish that up like that. But doesn't that look neat? Oops, ha, huh, I've got one more arm to do. Ha, 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 I just saw that. Okay. A little bit of sparkle going that way. I'm gonna start here. Skip a spot. Do there. Skip a spot. Right there, and just skip a spot, and right here, and skip that spot, and that's it. All right, now I got them all. Now we're going to give this a little bit of shading because it still needs shading. I'm going to do it right there on those arms. bit of blending just to make that come to life right right there and then you could incorporate this into other tangles you can have it as a standalone. You can do a bunch of them together. Um, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I really like this tangle. It's a little bit more challenging and advanced, but it's not impossible. This is called Eula. Y-U-L-A. Sign. And I'm going to turn this one over. Y-U-L-A. There it is in a more simple form with only three arms. And there it is in a little more complex form with six arms. And it is very, very cool pattern. And I hope you guys try it. Um, bit of a challenge, but everybody's up for a challenge once in a while, right? So I want you to go out, have a blessed day. Be a blessing to somebody else today. And um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.